Hi, I'm going to show you a cheap, inexpensive way to put a logo on a guitar headstock. In this case, this happens to be a Galveston guitar, but the previous owner apparently didn't like that it was a Galveston. Maybe they wanted a Fender or a Gibson. So they took a nail and scratched it off, put big gouges in the headstock. So, okay, what are you going to do about that? Well, what I did was I sanded this down nice and smooth, and I put a couple of coats of this stuff here. This is a matte finish uh, urethane. You buy it at Walmart for like five bucks or less. So it didn't cost a lot of money and it looks nice. It's nice and smooth. So how are we going to get a logo for this? Well, I went online and I found a picture of one on an ad and it was a pretty clear picture. And I'd hoped to just use Photoshop and maybe cut out the photo and cut out the logo and use that as my model for this thing. But it just wasn't clear enough. So I took that picture of the headstock and I uploaded it to a website that finds fonts. It matches the font in the picture. So I was able to find out what the actual font was that they used. And I took the computer and created it in the right size. It had to be about two and a half inches here. And it looked pretty good. It actually looked exactly like the one on the guitar. So I printed it on a laser printer, regular black on white, regular printer paper. Now you just Take your paper, put it on a flat surface, take some regular shipping tape, the kind that you box up cardboard boxes with, take off enough to cover the logo and apply it very carefully so that it's nice and flat like that. And then next thing is take a spoon and make sure you rub that so that all of that laser printer toner sticks really well the tape. You'll be able to see how black it gets when it's really stuck to the tape. And just make sure you do that so that it's all the way on there. Next, get yourself a pair of scissors and just cut out around the logo just like kind of they used to do with the fender decals. Just kind of round it around there. You don't want to make it too straight, but get close to the letters. And when you come around the outside here, again, make it kind of nice and round. Make sure you have, leave enough of the, I'm going to cut this off here so I can get to it more easily. Make sure you leave enough so that there's a little bit of space because the tape will then allow you to stick this on. And so when you're done it kind of look like that. Now you take your cutout and put it in the bowl like this. It'll curl up like that. Just make sure you hold it underwater there. See how it curls up like that? And then you're going to leave that in there for five minutes. The next thing you do is to start to separate the paper just by kind of rubbing your fingers together. And you'll see the paper will separate from the tape. You want to make sure that you don't take all the glue off the tape. But you do want to get all the paper off. So you just kind of work it from side to side. It takes a little while, but you can see how the paper's coming off. Don't rub it too hard because you want to leave enough glue on there so it's going to stick on the headstock. So you can see now how oh, there's a little bit of paper still there. Just keep keeping it wet, keep it underwater. Just kind of feel it. You can feel the paper's rough when it's on there. And just gently get rid of all the white. When you have it all done, it'll be nice and smooth on the back. There's still a little bit of white there, so.
but that's pretty much the way it should look. Now let's put it on the guitar. Before we put the decal on, please note that this guitar came to us with a blue plastic nut that really didn't work very well. So expert luthier Mark Benson replaced it with a nice newly cut one and it's going to really improve playability of this guitar. Now it's time to put this decal in here the way it was before. So I've got a picture on my phone there of where the old one was, you can see. And so I'm going to see if I can match it up here. It's like it's pretty close to the... It kind of goes on about on that angle there. And it looks like it, you just kind of, it looks like good placement. Just smooth it with your finger first. And you want to kind of rub out all of the stuff that you can, all the water on the back. So I just use a, you know, like a credit card type thing. This is my gas rewards card. So, works pretty well. And it should feel nice and smooth. And then just kind of feel it. It feels really good. Really nice and smooth. So after letting it dry overnight, I gave that decal four coats of Krylon matte finish. And let it dry. What that does is it seals the top of it. It also takes the shine off the decal and it gives the whole thing a nice matte finish, makes it very nice and smooth. It looks like the real thing. Here is the final example right here. And as you can see, it's nice and smooth, looks really good, nice and clean. And now we have a pretty nice guitar. This sure beats the heck out of the way it was before with all the scratched out Galveston up there. Now again, it's a Galveston guitar, so it's not a Gibson, not a Fender, but you shouldn't put another company's logo on a guitar. That's just not the right thing to do. So, somebody's gonna have a nice playing guitar here. Mm -hmm.